times it. Let's check out, you know, all the Marvel stuff that they came out with. Alright, so everything announced at Marvel Studios San Diego Comic Con 2024 panel. So this was a, you know, a couple hours ago my time. Uh, that's a wrap on Marvel Studios SD CD C San Diego Comic Con panel. It was jam packed all along presentation that gave us more insight into things like the Fantastic Four while revealing major news about two Avengers movies. More powers past SDCC Marvel panels have re revealed massive cast additions. This year's presentation came into announcement that Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr., is coming back to play Doctor Doom. Other highlights. Include first look footage for movies like Thunderbirds, Captain America Brave New World. There was a lot to cover, but we managed to nab every major reveal and share it here. Uh, you can see Marvel Studios had to announce at CD, SD, C, whatever, San Diego Comic Con. Uh, Captain America Brave New World footage revealed plans to rebuild the Avengers and uh, Giancarlo Espido, SP, Esposito's MCU role. Um, at the opening with the Deadpool Wolverine dance number, we got to see first look, uh, footage, oh uh, wait, okay, maybe there's like ending kind of see for Deadpool, uh, for this year's Captain America movie, Brave New World, it highlights major players like Harrison Ford's Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, aka Rogue Hope, who is looking to Sam Wilson to help him rebuild the Avengers, it makes sense, because in the trailer, he wanted Sam to be America's Captain Captain America again uh, and so it sounds like he's like trying to rebuild stuff which makes sense at the state of like Marvel is right now um, we also learn more about the MCU's plans to reduce um, adamantium one of Marvel's Marvel's most precious materials so it's definitely looking like they're trying to introduce you know the X-Men pretty soon and I can see where I can see where like in the background right now uh, you know them trying the Weapon X program is them trying to build the uh, Avengers, but then you know Wolverine and his backstory came around. Uh, I, c I can definitely you know guess that would happen. Additionally, the cast of the films revealed that uh, Giancarlo Esposito will be playing King of the Certain Serpent Society, Seth Boker, the Sidewinder. Hmm, who is who is the Sidewinder? Let's get this here. Leader of Serpent Society. As if Seth Evoker, aka Sidewanders. Leader of the Fairy Sidewander. The introduction of Serpent Society in Brave New World pays off a prank that Marvel Studios and Ke Kevin Feige pulled on fans almost a decade ago, where Fe Feige first announced that the third Cap movie would be Captain America's Serpent Society, before revealing later in the plans that it was actually Captain America's Civil War. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, welcome back, Rap. Um. As previously mentioned, Marvel Studios provided the official teaser trailer for Brave New World a few weeks later, setting up. Okay, okay. Uh, I thought they would show what. Talk about who he is. Alright, I don't know who Sidewinder is. But. Well, it's definitely a snake. Makes sense since uh, he's a part of the Serpent Society. Who in the world? Oh yeah, he seems like a a random dude. Seth Voker, who's the character that looks like it's going to be the main villain, he's the leader of the Serpent Society. I can actually treat. Like, Kenosha? Wait, is he a mutant? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is this is America. My bad. <laughs> I thought he was a mutant for a second. I, I was thinking of another one. Uh, original hire for Roxxon. Okay. Some Spider Man stuff. 
to retrieve the Serpent Crown outfitted with a cloak that had teleportation powers alongside the third incarnation of Serpent Squad. Sidewinder was able to return the crown to company president Hugh Jones. However, after that stint, he decided to form his own criminal organization, the Serpent Society. Given his ability to teleport, Sidewinder promises recruits that they would never be in prison. This attracted several snake themed villains, and the Serpent Society was quite the success. He started a romantic relationship with his teammate. Black Mamba. Um, later, Sai Wonder was betrayed by his organization after Viper and betrayed it, the group. After being poisoned, he was aided by Diamondback, who gave him the antidote, and the two escaped and survived on being contracted. Contacted by Black Mamba, Sai Wonder repaid the favor when Diamondback was captured and since possessed by the society and its new leader, King Cobra saving her from the death of lethal injection. Sai Wonder, however, refused to help Black Mama and the As Asp escape um, King Cobra's grasp, saying Black Mamba would not want to be in his debt. Uh, most recently, Sai Wonder has seen in television as a post-human expert about the um, Thunderbolt and has since retired from villainy. Okay. Okay. Doesn't give you that much information about him. Okay. He was an economics professor. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if uh, that would be important to like the story of um the brave new world later he ordered the, S the serpent society a small stink screams to, you know, for harm working like a trade unit at one point in time was deposed by uh, as leader by viper and several members of society had infiltrated the group who's viper oh viper is super villain you know what? I'm thinking that, um, what's her face? Um. Oh, girl, the blonde haired girl who turned out to be a villain at the end of a, cat, a Falcon and, um, the Winter Soldier. Uh, Sharon Carter. For some reason, I feel like that, um, she is going to be. She's going to be like Viper or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, because I, 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 she feels like some somebody that's like very that's going to be very influential at the end of like the season for the Winter Soldier and the Falcon show. Um, I wonder if she's going to be like you know, uh, Mr. Sp Zito's character, um, Sidewinder, like because it, it look, it's looking like he's going to be like a. You know, just like, you know, wrecking havoc on everything and trying to, like, destroy the government. But it might look like he what he's doing is, like, criminal, but he's actually trying to, like, stop something from happening. Uh, the third side wonder, uh, Gregory Bryant, was given his powers by the Brand Corporation and became a member of the Serpent Society later on. He became a member of Serpent S Solutions when the society was run. Uh, a second side wonder appeared in 1998, but was killed during his attempt to infantry shield, a third side wonder. Okay. Interesting. Alrighty. Um, next. Harrison Ford is Thaddeus Ross. Uh, Marvel reveals first Thunderbolts footage ahead of 2025 uh, uh, premiere. Uh, with a rap team that includes Bucky Bones for the Soldiers, Ghosts. Oh, uh, yeah. Hannah, John Common, Elena, Elena, and more. Some early footage of the film shows Elena Page off against Ghost and John Walker, Wyatt Russell, uh, while dealing with some personal demons. Whether or not Alexi, which is this guy, can help her remains to be seen. Thunderbolts appear May 5th next year. Okay. Uh, Fantastic Four gets in. I have no, I really have no expectations for this one or like what, how it is. What's this place in like the story of Marvel? 
but you know this is still cool regardless nice to see Yelena and um, uh, Bucky um there uh, he's okay he's kind of cool he was kind of wild though um I wonder what she's gonna be like this is the taskmaster and her is gonna be like and whatever about her uh, the Fantastic Four gets an updated title and retro future 60s setting confirmation. It's interesting that this is set in the, in the 60s. Um, the Fantastic Four, now officially titled as the Fantastic Four First Steps, might be the biggest MCU movie of the last few years. It's all set to introduce Marvel's most flexible family and during uh, San Diego Comic Con, we learned that it would be set in a retro future version of the 60s. Marvel also showed off early, uh, some early footage revealing Mr. Fantastic leading an old school science program and the Thing taking part in a dating show ahead of its production date this Tuesday. See Pedro Pascal, Ivan Moss, uh, Bakrash, uh, Joseph Quinn, and Vanessa Kirby star as the fans for when it appears in July 25th, 2025. I think we all come back to going to bring an essence that is a family rather than thinking about what we individually are going to bring, Quinn said, uh, of the film. It's a teen sport. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's interesting that this is like going to be set in the 60s, and I wonder like how they're going to, how to they, they're going to like mold the whole, you know, how are they going to like fuse everything that exists now? It's like if they're just going to like fuse everything, like you know, whole multiverse thing. Because I think the Secret Wars is supposed to be something like that, but who knows? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is the MCU's Doctor Doom. New mask, same task. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. surprises Hall H to announce his return to MCU as Doctor Doom. Yeah, this is this is probably the. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, at least he gets to play like something different. But I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I'm glad he's back, but I I, I rather much would like Doctor Doom be played by somebody else. Um, and it's nothing against Robert Downey Jr. It's just, you know, he's, he's kind of like memorized as like this, as like this one character that we've been seeing since, I want to say 20, 2008, um, whenever the first Iron Man came out. And I just want to see like a Doctor Doom and like, you know, he can play like a good Tony Stark, Tony Stark Tart character who's like a, a playboy, arrogant asshole. Um, but like it's not like dr doom arrogant where like dr doom is like above like everybody <laughs> if that makes sense like he, he actually feels like he's a god and he's above every everybody um but hey that's much to me I mean, maybe i just don't know a whole lot about dr doom uh looks like the russo brothers is coming back as well uh, to play Avengers Do Doomsday, directing the Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. The Russo Brothers, oh yeah. So, Secret Wars happened in 2027, and Doomsday happens in 2026. Okay, all in May. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. isn't the only MCU vet in putting back on the cape. Captain America Winter Soldier and Avengers Game Game Director, uh, I don't know, I just read that. Yeah, it looks like Doomsday was originally going to be Kang Dynasty, but, you know, they scrapped the whole thing, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man. Crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about him coming back as Dr. Doom. I don't, I don't, I'm not really much of a fan of it. I mean... It's whatever, I mean, it obviously you you know have to hold off until like it actually happens, but yeah. you know, let me know what y'all think if y'all can 
hear this.